Hi friends, I'm Anupriya. Welcome to Ibidyati. In this session, we are actually going to learn some interesting verbs from the English vocabulary, which are not very popular, which are not mostly heard, but we use at very common places. Just because we are not aware with them, we don't use it frequently. So, let's learn. First word is outrageous. How do we use it? What's the meaning of this word? The meaning of this word is shockingly bad. Yes, somewhere it gives a negative meaning. Example, you can say that Mr. President has given an outrageous statement about any particular religious fraternity in USA. Yes, that was shockingly bad. That was outrageous. The situation I went through was outrageous. Rages. It was unexpected. It was shocking to me. So this way we use the word outrageous. Next word is affluent. What is the meaning of this word? Affluent is actually a word which belongs to particular people who are very wealthy, very rich. Yes, this word shows to a fraternity of the people who are very rich and wealthy. For example, you can say, Look at her dressing. I think looking at her dressing, it seems like she belongs to affluent people. She belongs to very rich people. She must be very rich. Smoking is very common among the affluent people. Most of the rich people smoke a lot. Right? So in this way, you use the word affluent. Third word is solitary. What's the meaning of this word? You must have heard solitude or all the females out there the word solitaire is very very favorite of yours so what is solitaire what is solitude and what is solitary the, all these words actually belong the situation which means being alone being single yes the state of being alone shows the situation of solitary yes that's the word solitary uh, they are living solitary life in the remote area of xyz country so someone is living actually alone somewhere that situation shows shows solitary the meaning of the word what's the fourth one fourth one is miserable what's the meaning of this word yes miserable means again something uh, it's a little bit negative, unhappy or sad. The situation was very miserable. I just cannot decide how to explain this. Yes, the miserable situation actually was in my head and I was not ready to solve the problem. So miserable again means something related to unhappy, something which is very sad. That's all. Okay, next is hindrance. Very, very, very beautiful word. In the professional life, suppose um, you have prepared all your uh, data and uh, whatever the reports you need to submit till evening to your boss. So you just lost everything from your computer and you are sitting very sadly with a feeling, how can I solve this problem? So your colleague come, he says that, are you ready to give your presentation? He said, no. He's saying, what? What's the inference? It means, what's the problem? What's the obstacle? That's the exact meaning. Yes, what's the obstacle? What is the restricting you by doing this? So, hindrance means, what's the exact obstacle in completing your task? Yes, that's the right word. That's the meaning of hindrance. Next is enigma. Wow, beautiful word. What's the meaning of this word and how do we use it? We use it means, enigma means uh, something very mysterious, something which is not easy to understand, something which is very difficult to understand. Yes, the tricks magician use actually is an enigma for us, right? Or suppose a friend of yours have learned a very your kind of English very recently. He just come uh, among the people, group of your friend and he kept on speaking anything didn't understand what he said because the you know pronunciations were not very clear the fluency was not accurate so he just said it was actually an enigma for us what he said yes something which was not easy to understand something which was very mysterious in this way you use the word enigma any sense you can use it next is sedentary what's the use of what's the meaning of this word all right sedentary means state uh, you can say Staying at one place, 
right that's the right meaning of something which is not active someone who is not active or inactive so staying at one place is the right meaning of sedentary and how do we use it all the females out there who are newly mother and just you know uh just divided with their job or professional life they can use this word very beautifully by saying this since the birth of my child i am experiencing sedentary life or sedentary existence at my home right after the surgery i'm actually going through a sedentary life at my place so this way we can use the word sedentary in another example sedentary lifestyle is actually responsible for all the diseases like diabetes or you know high blood pressure something like that out there so sedentary is actually giving a very beautiful meaning and common too next is pensive what's the meaning of pensive pensive means engaged in deep thought yes you are thinking so deeply that is the meaning of pensive after hearing her statement or his statement she remained pensive she actually went in the deep thought yes that's the right meaning or suppose you proposed your girlfriend suddenly and she was not ready for that she was uh, actually so so shocked so you can say after my sudden proposal she became pensive yeah she actually entered in the deep thought so that's the meaning of pensive next is desiccate desiccate means remove moisture from something or uh, you know uh, that is meant to be to dry out yeah to dry out or removing moisture from something actually in summers plants become desiccate just the lack of watering the plants yes just because we don't water plant properly so it becomes desiccate in winters the skin is actually very much you know desiccate just lack of the moisture so where there is a lack of moisture where there's no moisture something is dry out we use the word desiccate that's the right word all right and what is the last interesting word that is stringent yeah the stringent means very strict or severe example you can say but you should not do this what i'm going to tell you that with the stringent uh, rules of my parents just because of their stringent rules i escaped from my family to escape from the stringent rules of my parents i escaped from my family i left my home or another example i will give you uh, just to increase more safety the aircraft should pass in three stringent rules that's the right way to use this word so stringent means very strict very severe right so in this way what we have learnt we have learnt many interesting word and their common usage yes the word sounds something that okay we have not heard it we have not used it but after this you are going to use it because it is definitely very 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 useful and as well very interesting and can be used at everyday conversation yeah so that's all for now learn it use it and do subscribe us bye